All right. So to get started with installing Angular 6, you're going to need a couple few dependencies installed first before we can actually install an Angular 6 project. So um, first is Node.js. Now take note that installing Node.js will also install the Node Package Manager or otherwise known as the NPM to your machine. Now the reason we need this is because we're going to use NPM to install the Angular command line interface or Angular CLI which in turn would help us to get started with installing an Angular 6 project. All right. So the first thing we're going to do now is to check whether or not you have Node.js installed. So we can do this by, uh, you may want to visit your command prompt or console and simply type in the command node hyphen v and npm hyphen v. So as you can see, I already have Node.js uh, installed in my machine and it shows that my Node.js version is 8.9.0 and my NPM version is 5.6.0. But if either of these commands go unrecognized for you, in your case, you may want to open a browser and head to nodejs.org, go to downloads, and um, yeah, here. So depending on your current operating system, whether that's Windows or Macintosh, uh, just select which installer you're supposed to download. So since I'm using a Windows machine, I'll be clicking Windows installer. Okay. So since I already have that installed, um, I already have it here. But um, for you guys, once your download is finished, just uh, launch the installer and you'll be able to see a uh, node.js setup wizard similar to this okay so this will install node.js into our computer so we click next and um accept the terms and the license agreement next okay so destination folder so um you can choose to use the current folder or change the installation directory if you want to install it somewhere else so in our case, I'll we'll be using this folder, click next. Okay, so as you can see here, we have NPM package manager by default uh, ready to be installed together with our Node.js installation, so that's okay. So we click uh, next and then install. Okay, so since I already have Node.js installed into my machine, I'll skip that part. But uh, once you're done installing, just uh, close their command prompt because you need to reload it to, to be able to use all the NPM commands correctly. So um, I personally use the Node.js command prompt, this one, which uh, comes with the installation of your Node.js. So it says here your environment has been set up for using Node.js 8.9.0 and npm so just to make sure that we have node.js installed already in our machine you might want to type in again node minus v or node hyphen v okay there so you should now be able to see the version number rather than seeing an unrecognized command okay now once it is finished so what we need to do next is we need to install the angular command line interface or the angular cli so to install that, you need to head over to a browser again here and visit their official site, which is cli.angular.io. Okay, so uh, the official site will give you some more information about this tool, but um, basically it allows you to quickly install an Angular 6 project. And also it gives you some handy command line tools that will aid you in the development of your Angular 6 app such as ng-new, ng-generate, ng-serve, ng-add, so just to name a few. All right, so to install the Angular CLI, it's really very easy using npm. So we just use this command npm install hyphen g at angular forward slash CLI. So whenever you add the hyphen g, that installs it globally into your machine. Uh, so that you only have to run this once and you don't have to run it every single time you try to start a project So um, just think of it as a global install All right 
So basically, uh, it's using the npm node package manager to install the Angular CLI. And uh, take note, you will be using a lot of npm as you move forward with developing an Angular 6 uh, projects or applications since uh, npm helps you uh, install dependencies and packages which your uh, Angular 6 application might need. So that's why it's really, really important that you don't forget the first step, which is installing Node.js together with uh, npm and having the correct versions. All right, so enough of that. Let's start. Let's install Angular CLI. So let's key in the command npm install hyphen g at angular forward slash CLI. Okay, run. Okay, so this is going to take some time. Uh, I'll just pause it for a while and uh, come back once it's done installing. Okay, so um, once it's finished uh, installing Angular CLI, you'll be able to see here um, some warnings. So don't worry about that. It's okay. Just uh, disregard it for now. And um, to verify that you have it installed correctly into your machine, just key in ng hyphen v. There. Here. So um, you're going to see here the current uh, Angular CLI version, which was installed to your machine. So in my case, it is uh, 6.0.5, as well as uh, um, this Angular CLI text would appear as well into your uh, command line. So uh, the Angular CLI installs the necessary NPM packages, such as, uh, as you can see here, there are packages which are installed already as well. And um, it creates the project files and populates the project with a simple default app. All right, so it's really easy. So um, next is, uh, now that we're ready to install an Angular 6 project, since we already have um, Node.js, NPM, and Angular CLI, uh, let's go to my ng6 demo folder, 6 demo. Okay, let me clear this one. All right. So um, in your case, actually, you can really put this anywhere you want or wherever you want to store your projects. Say you have a codes folder where you usually store your coding projects. So you can uh, change that directory. Okay. And now to create a new project with a command line interface, it's very, very simple and easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, if you just type in ng, okay, um, uh, it's going to give you a ton of options, which you could also use with uh, creating or setting up your Angular 6 project. All right. So now we're going to use ng new and the name of our project, which is, uh, let's name it ng6 app. All right, so ng-new creates a new directory and a new Angular app as well. Okay, hit enter. All right, so now that it's finished, we'll go ahead and um, let me clear this first. Okay, so we'll go ahead and change directory or cd into the name of the project that we created. So it's cd ng6 app. All right, and now if you want to check what version of Angular it actually installed, we can type once more inside of this project folder, ng hyphen v, okay, hit enter. Okay, and um, this time it's going to provide us with all the versions of the Angular core and their packages. So we can see for me, it's Angular 6.0.3, it installed Angular 6, and um, as well as the updated uh, versions of the packages required. Okay, so, um, however, if you already have a previous Angular version installed in your machine, let's say like Angular 2 or Angular 4, um, you can now run ng-update instead. So let me clear this first. So, ng-update at Angular forward slash CLI. Okay, so this command will update the CLI, the Angular core and Angular material as well. So first, updating the CLI will actually convert the configuration file into the new format now, which is angular.json, and as well as 
will it will update various project configurations so once that is done uh, next is you may want to run ng update uh, for the angular core packages so we type ng update angular core okay and then you can also run ng update to update angular material as well as rxj6 so to do that we type ng update angular material as well as ng update rxjs okay so you also have to make sure that you are using typescript version 2.7 or higher install that is to run npm install hyphen g typescript okay this will install the latest stable version of typescript so i think it's a version 2.7.2 .2. yeah so now once that is done and we're finished we can type in ng hyphen v once more and it will show now that you're working on an angular 6 project so this would successfully upgrade your previous angular versions to angular 6 okay so at this point you can simply run ng serve and it will launch a development server at localhost colon 4200 which you can visit in your browser so to do that we type ng serve all right so it's uh done creating the new project and um there we go we now have an angular 6 app that is all set up and ready to go to the browser so um by the way you can also open up your code editor so i personally use vs code Okay, let me just open up the folder okay so this is our ng6 app folder so as you can see it has installed a lot of files and created some directories as well and uh, here is the project structure so most of the time you will be working on inside the source app folder as you can see here there are app component that CSS HTML spec that TS so these are the files you will be uh, mostly be working with and um all right so we now have our project set up already so basically this is how you install and launch an angular 6 app using the angular command line interface